I've been building a pulse motor generator. I have some experiments that I want to do. Test a few different ideas. This is a acrylic frame. And it has some legs that come down in it. I mortared some holes in the base. What I'm using for a core is a toroid core. This is uh, two coils, one on each half. If the adjacent wire were to continue around to the other half, it would be one continuous wrap in the same direction. And then I took the beginning of this wire and connected it to the end of the other coil. Kind of a two separate coil bivialer type of winding. And what I'm going to do is core is going to be here and then I'm going to have my rotor turning right next to it with magnets in here. I'm only going to use two magnets, a north and south, and I'm probably going to put a steel keeper on the back to intensify that. And hold the the core there, it's going to be sandwiched between the acrylic sheets with the bearings. I still have to make the shaft yet and solder that on there. And maybe I'll put this fan blade on there. See how it goes. I have to see if I can get it turning first. I wanted to show you the, the magnetism on this core. So I have a light bulb connected up in series here with this coil. You can see there is a polarity between the two half circles. What I'm thinking is I can kind of get a rotating kind of magnetic field. This is a cogless pulse motor generator that I built. I wanted to see if you could use a toroid core for a motor and generator using two neodymium magnets facing the core. I have it on 1.1 volts right now. It's not self starting, I have to give it a little push. Turn off a tip 3055 transistor and a reed switch. The reed switch is up here in the front. Thanks for watching.